Hi Soars! Although today it's my bad hair day, we are going to check out the Chinomi Cover Pro Tape Binder. You'll have two pieces, the base plate and the binder itself. Now, how are we going to attach those two pieces onto our cover stitch machine and how to use them? Let's get started! So, we've got here our base plate. We have three holes in it. And on the left side, you'll find a little knob. It's slightly higher than the base itself. This knob has to go into the first hole on your machine. We're going to turn the base plate onto the left side. And the little knob is going to attach. This hole is going to attach at the very right side. For the base plate we are going to use this hole and the, the hole at the left side. The knob first goes into the first hole. And you are going to take the screw. You have different sizes, so be careful. There is a longer and a shorter version. We're going to use for this hole the longer version. Then going to attach the screw into the hole at the very right side. Now control if it attached is if it's attached well and it stays at its place. Now we are going to take the tape binder, a huge massive thing. You're going to notice you have a space there and the space has to go onto the two holes. From here you can move it along at the left or at the right side. That depends on how you like to sew at the very end. My advice when sewing with two needles, the left one and the one in the middle, I align the binder with my sewing foot at the left side. You have to check this out, how you like to sew then. Now we are going to attach the binder on the base plate with the two short screws. Make sure they're very good attached. Nothing moves anymore now. Now there are a lot of ways which you can prepare your fabric stripes for your tape binder. I'm gonna show you the way I used to do it. Um, I measure the 42 millimeters, make four points on my fabric. And then I'm going to take the roller cutter to cut my fabric into a stripe. So I made the experience that this works the best for me and is very accurate. Now we take our fabric strip and make sure the right side is looking towards your machine. You're then going to take the tweezers and fill the fabric into the binder. At the beginning of the strip cut a little edge so it's easier to fiddle it in. Make sure your fabric is not twisted and make sure you give it a good press with your iron. You can also use some ironing stark if it's too much twisted. The best thing is to roll it at the end, but I do not have such tool until now, so I gotta hold it with my hand at this very moment.
If you're ready, the strip is fiddled into the binder. You're going to take your piece of fabric and put it under your sewing foot. So make sure the fabric is very close to the binder. It has to go really into this fold. And then happy sewing! Now for finishing the seam you go down with your needles and up again, raise your foot, take some scissors and take your needle thread, cotton and give a slight pull and then you can cut the fabric strip and the last thing your loop of thread. There you have it, your cover seam, cover stitch seam at the right side and at the left side. Happy sewing!